Hey there, Real Gamers, Retro Rob here. Welcome to Sorry Atari, where all the best games go to be played bad. Today we're looking at Gravatar for the Atari 2600. This one showed up very late in its life, as I recall. I think it was like 1988. 1983. I never got to play this back in the day. I have played it uh, later on a couple times, but I'm really excited to have a box copy of it because that's really pretty cool. And we're going to unbox it right here, and we're going to do it like we do everything, starting with the front of the box. Gravatar has some pretty darn good artwork for late model Atari 2600 stuff. You just didn't get quality art like this later on. The early stuff was so amazing, and then, you know, for years, it just was kind of, mm, okay. But uh, this particular one looks really good. I generally don't like these red boxes, uh, but this one, I'm okay with the front. And here's the back of the box. Defeat the deadly G-forces. Gravitar is out to conquer the universe. Gravity is his lethal weapon. First, he bombards each galaxy, the entire galaxy, with hostile gravitational forces. Then, in each galaxy's solar system, he installs a powerful reactor, creating a killer sun, which destroys all life on the surrounding planets. He blockades these planets with deadly rammers and automated bunkers programmed to shoot any and all would-be defenders. So far, his deadly plan has conquered four galaxies, each of which contain three solar systems. Your galaxy is under threat of attack from Gravitar. The only possible way to stop him is to break his hold on the four galaxies. You can either destroy the bunkers on all the planets or activate the reactor at the core of the alien reactor base and escape before the deadly explosion. Each planet has a treacherous landscape and even more dangerous gravitational field. Time is running out. Gravitar is coming closer. Sweet. Those of you who have been taking bets on when I'm going to stab myself will be very happy with the next video. Because I, uh, not this one, but the next one. Because I uh, totally stabbed the crap out of myself in that one. It happens. You know, I get older, but I don't get any smarter. All right. Let's see what's inside. There is a time period uh, with these where they weren't including like any catalogs or anything. So I don't know. I'm hoping for a catalog, but I don't know. Wait. No. Nope. Looks like uh, I'll pull the cartridge out, but no. Sorry to say there's no catalog. All right. The Atari 90 Day Limited Warranty. Make sure to call the Atari Service Center. Let them know. Retro Rob said, I need to register my game. Go right ahead. Here you go. Give them a call. Here's the manual in black and white. There's usually, yeah, see, there's a little bit of red on there too. And this is very uh, typical of their later stuff. Very thin, uh, very thin material. It's printed on. Uh, the coloring is not very exciting. I do like that they at least bothered to draw out the play field, but uh, yeah, it's a little, uh, it's a little rough. Anyway, there's more than one way to complete the mission, of course. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do terrible. Just so you know, I'm terrible at this game. I know, uh, <laughs> I know that Oni said that uh, she's terrible at this too, so I'm I'm gonna feel okay about it. But anyway, yeah, it's, it, this isn't gonna go well. Anyway, one day, <laughs> one day, one way to complete your mission in a solar system is to visit every planet and destroy all bunkers. You enter a planet's atmosphere by flying very near it. You cannot leave a planet until you have blown up every bunker. I'm gonna be lucky if I get through one. To be honest, to be honest. 
Um, the other way to complete your mission... Here, wait. The other way to complete your mission is to destroy the alien reactor base. Um, I'll visit one of these. The alien reactor base is a port into the next solar system. It consists of a winding, winding tunnel that leads to a reactor at the core of the planet. There we go. We'll see how that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try both ways and we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Poorly. By the way, there's these like, this must have got moist at some point. So hopefully the cartridge works. There is the cartridge. There's the artwork. Again, nice artwork, by the way. This is a lot redder. Wait, let me show you this. You know, now that I look at it, it isn't a lot redder. It is about the same color. I don't know why. I always think it's more brown. And I looked at this one and it's like really red. But I guess the other ones are too. Huh. Well, that's what happens when you hit middle age. Your memory sucks. Let's go put this into the Atari. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, or I will go Skynet on your butt. All right, folks, welcome to Gravatar, where I'm going to get my butt kicked. This is going to be uh, so bad. I even did a little bit of practicing beforehand. Okay, this game is best described as out of control. It just, just is. There, shoot, so many ways to die. And there's more than one way to win. This is one of them. I can make it through this maze. But the real problem is, come on. Your ship just turns so slow that uh, it's very hard to steer your way through stuff. So, there we go. We're getting there. Okay, going really slow. But I've only got nine seconds, you see. So you... Uh, but... but mm, mm. Mm, and I just went in the sun. It's just not fair. It's really not fair. All right, let's go try this. So I got to defeat all the bases. And again, the real problem is uh, irregular steering. Just not... Oof. I gotta go try and get this guy, which is nigh impossible. Mm. Now I can leave, and that explodes. So if I can do that with the other ones, I'll beat the level. But given the controls on display in this game, It's just hard. Ooh, almost got it. All right. No! It, it, mm. And you'd think if I... Just... Ooh, just so mean. See how he just... He just started going to the left now? Look at that. I, it's part of the gameplay mechanic, uh, but it's so tough. Oh yeah! Can I go out this way? Oh no, I can't! <sighs> Alright, that is it. That is about 
all you can really get out of Gravatar. I mean, it, it's a really tough game. Um, mm, mm, my opinions on it are... Uh, I don't mind uh, the original Gravatar very much, uh, but I think on the Atari, the controls... You, it really depends on your ability to have some nuance in the controls. And you steer left and right a little bit too slow and your acceleration is a little bit too great, if you know what I mean. So, ooh, just a rough game and it kicked my butt. But that's nothing new. Anyway, I wanna say thank you very much for watching. I'm happy to have got another Sorry Atari out. I will have another one coming up. I do have another one planned, so hang in there. And uh, hopefully the next game will be a little bit better or a little bit more playable. But for me, I, I just found it really tough to control. It wasn't tough because the game was tough. It was just tough because the controls are really not there. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. Thanks again. See you in a couple days. Bye.